Hey everyone, Savannah with McWayne Science Center and welcome to SciSparks. In today's episode, why do fish float so perfectly and why do sharks sink? Let's dive in. Before we can talk about why sea creatures can float, we have to talk about what floating actually is. In science, we call floating buoyancy. Something can float when it is positively buoyant or less dense than the fluid it's in. If the object is denser than the fluid it's in, it will sink. It is negatively buoyant. But what if the object doesn't sink and doesn't float? What if it stays somewhere in the middle? This means the object is equally as dense as the fluid it is in. It is neutrally buoyant. Most sea creatures try to stay neutrally buoyant so they can swim all around the ocean without spending too much energy. But not all sea creatures control their buoyancy the same. A typical fish uses a swim bladder to control their buoyancy. They can do this by inflating their swim bladders one of two ways, gulping in air or taking gas from their bloodstream. Sharks are a bit different. Sharks utilize their livers to help stay lighter and slightly float. A shark's liver alone can make up nearly 25% of its total body weight and is made up of lots of low density oils. We know water and oil don't mix. But oil is also more buoyant than water. What does this mean? It'll float. Because sharks have oily livers, they're able to use this to their advantage and stay off the sea floor. So, a shark without a big oily liver will have negative buoyancy and sink. But a shark with a big oily liver will maintain some level of buoyancy and float. But what about sharks that sink? Sharks like the ones around me tend to stay at the bottom of the sea floor, hidden in reefs and rocks. If you can imagine, their livers are pretty small compared to a bigger, deep ocean shark, like a great white. The smaller size of their liver means less oily fat and thus negative buoyancy, allowing them to rest on the seabed. When they want to swim towards the top of the water, they use their tail to propel forward and their fins to guide them up. Thank you for watching this episode of SciSparks. To catch new episodes as soon as they're released, make sure to subscribe to McWayne Science Center's YouTube channel or visit us at mcwayne.org. See you next time.